Hello, I'm Zeus, and I want to show you some stories for my sketchbook. So I got on a flight to Paris, and I brought as much as I could from back home with me. Four leaf clover, a uh, mainuna, an insect from a friend, and another one that I found. I stayed in Paris for a night, uh, it's such a inspiring city. I sat at a cafe and worked on my lists and tore the old ones and dropped them in a cup of coffee as I usually do. And then I took a train to Chouan with a group of artists, writers, and musicians. Very pretty train ride. And we were met by the team from the residency that we got accepted in. And they had name tags that they put on our bags. And we were on our way to a big pink chateau in Orkivo. This is Beulah, she's the co-director for the residency. And this is Ziggy, he's mowing the lawn. And this is his jacket, which I really like, and he has more than one of it. Uh, Ziggy says that every group has a thing, and apparently our group's thing is moving chairs. And I thought that was funny. And there's a pond and goats and just like nature things and so much nature, so much. Uh, this is my room. This is the studio where I work. Sometimes I run in the morning. This is where I do it. This is Dusty. He is the chateau cat. He loves attention but pretends like he doesn't care. It's a really nice place. I like the schedule here. This is Chef Marie. She likes to explain what's for dinner every time. They don't allow us to use phones at dinner, which is Fine. They organize a lot of cool things for us, like reading critiques, live drawing sessions. It's so quiet there. It took me two nights to adjust to all that quiet, except for going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. The wood floorboards at night turn into what I call a keyboard of betrayal. Listen to this. As much as I really liked it here and was really looking forward to the work that I was going to do, I miss my people. I wish I could mail more than just writing. I don't really remember when I had this kind of time and space to just draw. These are some of the sketches I've made while I'm here. There is so much to collect here. I've been here two weeks and I still have not seen everything. It's nice, I like it. I saw a tiny mushroom. This is my hand for reference. And I also saw a snail shell. And this is the hand that I used to draw. This is a little island on the pond where I saw my first mushroom here. There's a little dock. This is me. And that's where the chateau is. Here, here, and here. I haven't yet gotten sick of the woods. There's so much to see. There's a really cool deer path. There's a small waterfall. There are so many insects. I tried not to touch all of them. This is Phoebe and I share a studio with her. She just gave me a handful of a dozen ladies bugs that she found dead and dying next to her window and i thought that is the nicest thing a stranger has ever done for me and she also took this photo of me so nice so many insects my journal just turned into an etymology museum i love it this is alfred uh, i love our conversations this is him on a swing and this is me showing him how to write his name in arabic rochelle took this video and she also made this portrait of me I'm getting along with more people than i thought i would i don't think i've ever been this social honestly this is caitlin caitlin is a great writer she plays rugby and drives a subaru and is very funny we took a hike uphill and found a cemetery it was very pretty. Some parts of it were strange. We had a lot of questions, none of them were answered, and I'm glad. I saw these love bugs. I would like for them to be renamed to U-Haul bugs. This is Kevin. He's very soft-spoken and he has the kindest eyes. I modeled at his studio for a few artists. I wanted to take the weekend off, so I went to Paris for a couple of days. Something very strange and very funny happened. So I put out this video essay about perception of color, and in it I mentioned Jules Davidoff's study on the Himba people. So the apartment me and my friends rented in Paris is owned by this couple. I go into the guest bathroom at one point, and I see pictures of them with the Himba people. They study the Himba people. What are the odds? I also did that thing that I've always wanted to do but never got the chance to look for all the tiles for the rose line and I marked as many as I could and I enjoyed that very much. I was the only one who was a tourist but wasn't taking touristy pictures, just videos of the ground and I felt fine about being weird because honestly normal people are the weirdest. And then I went to this ramen place that was phenomenal. It's supposedly the best ramen place in the world outside of Japan. Thank you Lara. And then I went to the museum in the botanical gardens. I went there to see the cabinet of curiosities but it was closed that day which was a shame but I enjoyed it nonetheless. And in it some guy was talking about taxidermy, like about the displays and how they were made, which made this a meta museum, which made me feel like I found my people. This is what I do. I also wrote a lot of letters in my head and I got stamps. There was an Agnes Varda stamp and I felt very lucky that I got to have one. By the end of the weekend, I was actually really excited to head back to the chateau. I had a really good time in Paris, but I was looking forward to drawing more and spending more time with other creatives. Loren drove me back and there was a spider in his van and that was all I was thinking about. It's really funny to me that usually when people travel, they think they're going to go find themselves. They're going to go get to know themselves. They're going to go and see a version of themselves that's clear to them. And you never really consider the possibility of finding multiple selves. So many versions of you. How you're being perceived can be documented in so many different ways, in so many different times, and moods, and feelings, and situations, and different placements of the planets. And they're all you, even the ones that you don't think look like you. It doesn't matter how off you felt that day, if you've had a particularly silly day, if you didn't sleep enough, or if you ate too much, or if you spoke too little, or if you hid your feelings, or if you lied about them. They're all equally who you are. So instead of finding oneself, you find multiple and now that's more work for you to draw the lines in between that's where you are in between those lines and i find that very scary but also wonderful and i think i'm looking forward to more so yeah thank you
اسمع اسمع